Minecraft Java is way better than console, except for split screen. Let's go ahead and fix that. The first thing to do is to download the Modrinth app. Once we've got Modrinth up and running, we're going to go ahead and create an instance in the bottom here. Click Fabric, make sure you start with Fabric. Make sure you choose a name and select your favorite game version as long as the mods support it. Now that we've got this one up and running, we're going to click Install and we can search all the mods that we want. We're going to start off with Sodium so that we have the best performance possible. Next, we're going to install Controlify. This is so that we can use controllers. Next, we're going to install AuthMe. This way we can play offline. That way we can play multiplayer with only one account. Once we've got this instance going, we can go ahead and duplicate it. I'm going to rename this one to Player2. If you're going to use a keyboard and mouse for player one, it's a good idea to disable the controller mod. That is what I'm going to do. Now simply press play on both of them. Now that we've got both games running on the screen, now is a good time to plug in the controller, which I will do right now. From here, we can follow the prompts. Awesome. Now my controller should be all set up and ready to go. And now notice while I am on the keyboard and mouse side, I cannot control the controller side. Let's go ahead and fix that. Going into the settings for the mod, all we have to do is enable out of focus input. Now we're back here and I can control the right side while the left window is focused. Because I'm only using one Minecraft account, it is a good idea to play offline. That's why we installed AuthMe. You can name yourself whatever you like, just make sure that the usernames are different. Now, all that's left to do is to create a game. Open to LAN. And join it from the other side. And as you can see, I'm using the controller. And now I'm using the keyboard and mouse. Beautiful. This is actually a remake of a previous video that I thought I should update because I think this method is actually a lot easier. Before I was using GD Launcher, now I use the Modrinth app and I think it's way better. This was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed.